What's up, Panda? It's Peter from Panda here. Hey, I received this package in the mail from Watch Gang. And I told you, you know, kind of in my live session that I actually hadn't joined them. And it was true. I hadn't at that point. But I thought, you know what? I like watches. You like watches. Uh, you know, I need to check them out and see what my thoughts are. And this is going to be a true unboxing. I actually uh, snipped off the top here. So I actually don't know what I have. Uh, you know, Watch Gang has... Watch Gang IG. Anyway, uh, Watch Gang is a subscription service, kind of like any of the uh, gentlemen's boxes or Japanese food box or whatever. And they have certain different price points where you can subscribe and get a watch. Now, what they kind of say is that, okay, so <laughs> Watch Centum looks like it's going to be a Maurice LaCroix or TCM. Now, I did not join that or the Watch Platinum, the Watch Gang Platinum. Which looks like it's either going to be a Glycine, Verada, LumTech, Melbourne Watch Company. Uh, I do like Glycine. LumTech is all right. Melbourne Watch Company is all right for a platinum level. And I think that's like the $1,000 a month level. And I'm assuming the Centum is maybe even higher. You know, I, I think maybe this is like, I don't know what it is. It's like 500 and, a, and maybe the Centum's like 1000 okay? Centum being... I think a thousand but I didn't subscribe to those I thought giving it a try I would start at the bottom so what they have is the original and then they also have a black and I want to say the original is like 29 99 30 bucks a month uh, a little more if you pay monthly and then the black is oh gosh like 50 bucks maybe 100 bucks anyway I, I, I bagged myself a subscription to the original uh, clearly it looks like it's a simplify watch and I'm not psychic I'm thinking right there and you know 30 bucks the idea is you're going to get a watch and you're supposed to get a watch that sells for 100 to 150 dollars now what i have noticed here is i have two boxes i although i don't think i have two watches and uh they do say simplify now i've reviewed a simplify watch on my channel before one that i actually bought and i kind of tore it up uh, i actually thought it looked pretty good in the pictures but it wasn't a super high quality watch. Now, I will say, it looks like they send you a steel bracelet. And this is separate. It's uh, polished on this side and uh, brushed on this side. Deployment clasp. Everything about this is Econo, right? Okay, so a uh, little deployment clasp there. This is a deployment clasp that I have had used on some of my watches, cheap watches for 30 years. Looks like just regular spring bars in there, but you do get it. You know, this is probably <laughs> like five bucks if you go on eBay, but uh, uh, you can get deployment clasps and steel bands or stainless steel bands. It does come with a watch removal tool. This thing is worth a couple bucks right there. Um, and it comes all branded Simplify. So my assumption is this watch is a Simplify watch and I'm kind of familiar with them now and I'm guessing it's gonna have a leather band since they sent a bracelet. Oh, look at that. All right, so here we have the warranty card from Simplify, and here is this watch. Now, because I'm just unboxing it, I really can't tell you that much about it since I wasn't able to do any pre-work, but obviously it has kind of a chocolate leather brown band, um, just kind of a painted edge on it, and a nice, like, uh, distressed kind of antique vintage look to it. It tapers a little bit. It kind of looks like it's a 20 millimeter down to like 18 millimeters, my guess. You do have a little blue side stitching right up here, kind of to tie that end down. Uh, you know, the band isn't bad. It's pretty flexible. It's got some sort of like finish on the back here, like some sort of texture. And I don't guess it doesn't say anywhere like genuine leather. It might be. It might not be as well. Um, I don't know. I kind of don't think so right now. So let's, let me, I'll have you be the judge. But if we look at the the side cut of this retention strap right there that doesn't look like leather to me but i could be wrong you 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 tell me you tell me all right so we do have a simplified buckle right there not bad not great and we have a very light and a very small watch i mean this sucker is light Woo! i mean it's gonna float away if i release it so um very classic style just a regular wrist watch like a polished stainless steel case, just a crown, just a single timekeeping movement, a uh, slight knurling. I'm sorry for the back and forth. This is a really true unboxing. You know, it on the, the crown, and obviously it's ticking. We have 
looks like a little blue on that second hand which matches the blue stitching down here and then straight markers for uh, all the hour markers and then the hands themselves a white dial simplify logo right there and then uh, minute markings and I'm gonna say plastic crystal you can see the shape of the case right there uh, a little bit of waviness in the case and a pressed on back Japanese quartz movement simplified is your time now one of the things I do want to tell you is that on the other simplify watch that I unboxed <laughs> um, which I bought so keep that in mind I bought it so I'm gonna be pretty honest with you I said I wasn't impressed with it for a watch that's supposedly available online for around six hundred dollars it wasn't anywhere near that quality regardless of what it is it's actually listed for and I think the MSRP was even higher that watch uh, and I and I want to say I made this might be like a 4300 series simplify just puts numbers in their series kind of like BMW 3 series 5 series 9 series I think this is a 4300 if I'm right because when I looked at them um, I'm gonna guess it's like a 40 millimeter case or 41 millimeter case, it's not that big. So I put it on here, let me just kind of give you my thoughts. So I said that watch, which I think was a chrono, should have been a $100 watch. If it, it, was, if it was selling and the street price on that watch was $100, I thought that watch price would be fair and I wouldn't have been so hard on the watch. But when you put $600 on a watch, and you throw in something like a Shinola or a Tag Heuer, all of which are good watches uh, with a lot of presence, a lot of mass, and screw back cases or exhibition backs or anything like that, then, you know, I think the, the landscape on watches right now is such that you should be getting a pretty nice watch for six, seven hundred bucks. Now, this watch, I'm gonna guess, is probably available online for $100. I'm gonna guess that, okay? Because that's what they advertise. For $30, you get this watch. Um, my issue with it is, I paid for it. Watch Game didn't hook me up with it. And they didn't send me the free Rolex or anything like that. Oh, I should talk about that. I guess I should give you the point of Watch Game. Um, the, if this watch is listed online for about $100 from places, I would pay 30 bucks for it <laughs> and I did I guess I paid like 33 uh, but you know maybe under 50 bucks to be honest you know maybe it's a little higher quality than some of the really cheap watches that I've shown you but I have had a bunch of watches you know from you know packaged like something like this for 10 bucks or five bucks or a watch like this you know it's a I don't know a Dobra we haven't even looked at this but this is a very cheap watch uh, 10, 12, 15 bucks. This watch feels very much like this watch, okay? Um, now I'm gonna give it a little bit of credit for having a little bit better marketing, but at $100 for this watch, no, I say no. I say, all right, maybe 40, probably 30. And to be honest, if you told me you could pick this up on Alibaba for 15, I'd be like, mm, all right. Um, so at 100 or 150, whatever they kind of advertise it might be, uh, I would say no. <laughs> I would say no. This is a, a good watch to bang around with, have a bang around, um, have something stylish and looks pretty decent on your wrist, and you don't have to worry about it. But at $100, over, overpaid. I mean, uh, the Fossils and Nixons are great watches at $100. Uh, Invictus are great watch at $100. Swiss Army or Bolova at 100 bucks. This this is not in that this is not in that realm. I can just tell you that right now. Now, that being said, what else does Watch Gang do? They have a couple other levels. You know, if you were going to get uh, a LaCroix or a TCM, let's call it if I don't know if the centum is $1000, you know, there's pretty much no TCM that is under a grand. There are some that come pretty close, so I guess you're paying a thousand bucks for, you know, a thousand, maybe two thousand dollar retail watch. So you maybe you're getting fifty percent off. Uh, Lacroix, mm, pretty close there too. I would say, uh, let's see, the Platinum. Let's call that five hundred dollars a month. You know, if you got a Glycine like Combat Sub for five hundred bucks, I think that's a good price. I don't think that's an amazing price. I think they're only about six or seven if you don't shop it around. Melbourne Watch Company. I've kind of wanted to check their stuff out. I think it's probably pretty good. I, I haven't bought one because of the kind of the price point. Loom Techs are pretty interesting. They look great. But again, I think they're mostly quartz movement. So, you know, 
do you get your value out of watch gang i'm just gonna say you're getting what you're paying for you know i know that the whole point is you're supposed to be getting more than you're paying for uh i just i just don't know that i would say that uh joining it is an amazing deal you know but here's what i will say is if you're just trying to put watches in your watch box you know you're just trying to get uh you've got a 24 watch case that you're trying to fill up well then you know what why not be surprised why not you know mix it up uh have them send you something that you may not have heard about and you know and especially if you're starting out why not find out some brands like simplify that you might not have heard of right um i would say it's, it's more of a quantity thing from a watch collecting standpoint and i'm just an amateur my my philosophy would be more decide what you want and go after that and and figure out how to get a good deal on it right fill up your watch box with box box with stuff that you actually want which is i you know i kind of started by just keeping everything i ever bought and really found out that i, I really only keep what i want to keep right and so you'll you know, your your taste might evolve and watch gang you know like the centum or the platinum might be the perfect fit for you but uh, i would probably you know, I'm going to keep my subscription, see what else they bring. So stay tuned. Next month, hopefully we'll get something else. Uh, you know, I don't think it's a bad value. I just think it the value is about what it is. All right. So I don't think it's 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 an amazing value by, by any means. So the other thing I want to throw out there is that they have a Rolex uh, Saturday or Rolex Friday. I think every Friday they give away a Rolex. Not a new Rolex per se. Sometimes they're a vintage Rolex. But either way, you know, I mean, you're talking about a $1,000 or $2,000 watch. I mean, you know, as a giveaway, that's great. It's way more than I do. I wish I could do that for you guys. Uh, and then on Tuesdays, they give away a tag Hoyer. And again, not necessarily new tag, but they kind of do a Facebook Live thing where they announce the winner. They don't really show how they're drawing it. So I don't know anything about that. that but... Um, I've seen people unboxing them on YouTube, so I know they're getting them. So that's my take on the Watch Gang, my first delivery at the original level, and kind of my take on the value, and uh, it does work. It's, it's a legitimate service. I got something. There you go. Get it from Panda. Out.